I don't know from Paris to Perth and in the beat of a heartbeat or something anyway it's a three mile Perth gold cup coming up next it's a 0 to 140 handicap chase and the top one is full court press Joshua Sutherland Meb Suter Norma James Shea native Apache Graham Clutterbuck Bunbell Daniel French Grandma's Calapa Martin Leedham Ascendant Forgotten Graham Clutterbuck Tavada David Robertson Orion Craig Beckwith Shirataki Stay and Once Upon for Paul O'Neill Pombal Darren Thompson, Luna Mixon, Richie's Alex Cherry, Arnoia Bender, Thomas Rogers, McBurney, Alex Cherry, and Mystera Ellen for Ryan Costello. So 15 then. Call into line, and away they go. And Arnoia Bender is just about the first to show as they get to the first one, which is a huge ditch, which they all got to the other side of pretty safely. So a bit of an up and down trap this one. So plenty of bumps and hills and things, and running downhill and running uphill, and some good stiff fences, and they've got 18 more of them to take as well. And Alnoyer Bender in the green is the early leader from Ascendant Forgotten as they get over the second. I'm pretty sure the Ascendant Forgotten took them along in one of the big races the other week. It would have been either the Gold Cup or the big race at Liverpool. But uh, certainly likes to be up in the lead, that one. And it currently shares the lead with Alnoyer Bender. And they're both about four or five lengths clear of Pombal in third. Meb Suta Norma is fourth as they come past the stand. Take the water. That's the winning post. Uh, they've got another couple of circuits to go yet. And Ascendant Forgotten on the outside. Alnoya Bender on the inside. And Alnoya Bender's going to get the lead by virtue of having the inside. And I mean, slightly less distance to run. You can see how quickly they've become strung out after that turn. And Ascendant Forgotten and Alnoya Bender disputing it as they take the fifth which has taken a long time to get over because they really strung out these. And it's Ascendant Forgotten and Alnoya Bender. Meb Sutador is third and Pombal is fourth. Then Orion is fifth and Native Apache is sixth. And then Luna Mixon Richards is seventh. And then Full Court Press and Shirataki Stay and McBurney and Once Upon. The first of the two greys. The second one is Grandma's Kalapa. Then Taverner and Mysteria Ellen and Bombell just poking its head into the shot. That's how spread out they've come out strung out there as they take that ditch which is the sixth and they're all safely over that one with ascendant forgotten uh, our Noye bender setting the pace as they come to the seventh and grandma's collapse right down on her nose there and we lost one full court press is gone so full court press was a faller at that one then and obscured by other runners and Ascendant Forgotten is half a length of the good from Alnoya Bender in second gap of a couple of lengths then back to Pombal and Meb Suit and Norma is together then there's a gap of three or four more to Orion and Luna Mixer Riches and then Shirataki Stay McBurney is next once upon the grey on the wide outside with the second of the Alex Cherry horses McBurney and the second Grand Clutterbuck horse native Apache on the inside then another gap of about four lengths to Grandma's Kalapa Taverner and Mysteria Allen and then one more gap to the out of shot Bombell who's about two lengths adrift as they get to this ditch which is the ninth and the, remained, the remaining winners are all safely over it 14 of them left just the one departed so far full court press the faller earlier on but it's Ascendant Forgotten in the lead by a length to Alnoya Bender in second Pombal takes it third, then the Alex Cherry pair making a forward move, so to Shirataki stay around the outside, and they're still going a bit of a pace here, and if there's anything in the, in the back, well, oh, was a faller, the faller there, McBurney's gone, it was also a mistake by Pombal, but McBurney was the one that fell there, and I was just about to say, they might be, these horses at the front might be setting this up for a closer if we've got a closer in the field but it's Ascendant Forgotten then who is the leader there's still a mile and a quarter to go as they step over the water jump there's the winning post that'll be where they're heading for next time round they won't jump the water of course they've got the little shoot and it's Ascendant Forgotten who's in the lead from Alnoya Bender second then a gap back to Pombal in third. Meb Suter Norma is four. Then comes Luna Mixon Riches and Shirataki Stay and Orion and Once Upon. And then Native Apache and Taverna. Then Bombell making a bit of ground. Uh, going past Grandma's Kalapa and Mysteria Ellen as they took that next one. So racing downhill then now. And Ascendant Forgotten is still in the lead by a length to Alnoya Bender in second. Pombal is recorded from that mistake and he's going well in third. Luna Mixon Riches is fourth. Meb Suter Norma on the inside. Shirataki Stay still going well on the outside. Of Ryan being covered up is going to need a little bit of racing room. Native Apache's trying to get into it on the inside as well. Once upon switches to the outside as they take that 
big looking ditch then comes Tavera and then a little bit of a gap back to Bonbell and Grandma's Calapa so racing down towards the next end they've only got six more furlongs to race and Ascendant Forgotten steps over that one with a good two length lead over in second place Arnoy Bender then Orion who's now got, got himself out of that little pocket and is making a forward move into third Shirataki stay responding as well Pombal's just losing its place Mebsu to Norma is still there so is Luna Mixon which is native Apache's trying to run on so is Taverna and once upon Bombell's trying to tag on to the back of that leading group as to his Grandma's Calapa but Grandma's Calapa's got a lot of ground to make up uh, over that 16th and they've just got three more to take after this one then and suddenly Taverna sweeps around the outside and Taverna has come through to take it up but Ascendant Forgotten responds as straight away and has got the inside berth but Taverna has suddenly put in some pace now to the front of the race and Taverna has gone too clear Taverna from Ascendant Forgotten in second then Shirataki stay over to third last Taverna landed in the lead it's David Robertson in the lead then it's about three lengths clear now of Ascendant Forgotten in second Bonbell's come from absolutely nowhere on the outside but Taverna's coming down towards the next then Taverna's got two to jump Taverna skips over to second last gets over it nicely Shirataki stays in second then Ascendant Forgotten once upon after that one but it's all about the leader Taverna Taverna comes up to the final fence pops over it he's beginning to tie though and he's now being pressed by Shirataki Stay it's Taverna and Shirataki Stay and Shirataki Stay takes it up and Shirataki Stay is going to race towards the line and take it fast finishing once upon but it's Shirataki Stay who's got to win it it could be a poor only on one two it's Shirataki Stay that takes it once upon second then suit to number third and ascended forgotten Taverna couldn't get round in the end couldn't, couldn't keep his run going on are you Bender and ship the pilot at the last. Tavern looked like he was keeping the Perth Gold Cup in Scotland as he took the final two fences, but he just ran out of steam and might have even got run out of the first four in the end. But it's Shirataki Stay that takes it big prices. And let's take a look. It's Shirataki Stay, the winner, once upon second. It's a 1 2 for Paul O'Neill. Mebsu to Norma for James Shea was third. Taverner for David Robertson was fourth. Um, the long-time leader, Ascendant, forgotten on ground clutterable. Hog on to fifth.